Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video on this channel. It has been such a long time since I recorded a video in front of my PC, in front of my Mac actually, uh, to record a, a sketch tutorial. I've been away from my keyboard and from work for about a week. Uh, because of a tooth surgery, so I had to recover from that a little bit and couldn't really talk at all um, But now I'm fine. I'm back. I also rented an office I don't know if you've maybe heard about that on Instagram or Twitter But I rented an office that I will turn into a studio so I can really uh, record videos not just from my living room that I'm currently in but also just in front of a professional equipment and environment so that's going to happen within the next two weeks. I'm really uh, pumped about that. I hope you are enjoying that as well. And today we are jumping into Sketch and I finally want to create a new video for you guys because you have been asking for it and we are going to create a profile user interface. So let's start creating these designs again in Sketch in our favorite app for creating user interfaces. And we are just starting out by hitting A to create a new artboard. And I'm going to choose the iPhone uh, 7 artboard as, as usually. I'm going to rename it uh, like profile UI. And this is the background for our interface. I would like to have a rectangle on this interface, which will be the background. We will work with a photo because this is a profile and I want I wanted to like add a photo to this profile as a profile image. So we can simply hit uh, this button, this like content data button in our craft plugin. The craft plugin is uh, linked down below so you can download it and use it. It's like the best plugin that you can get for sketch. Hit photos and then I hit unsplash and I can simply choose what I want right here. So we are going to choose portrait. I say place photo and it's giving me a horse. Uh, you have to like try it out a little bit until you get a nice portrait or photo. Um, basically just like that. So that's a cool like avatar and we can really work with that. So we can now after we renamed this to background BG create some or add some icons and I'm using my material design icon set. It's also linked down below. The guys who are watching my tutorials know that I'm using this icon set and I can simply copy it and paste it into this one. So we have our shape right here and the shape right here is an X shape. Just like that. We can zoom in a bit and place it just right there. Uh, we have to place it a little bit further down because we forgot to add a status bar and we are going to select new from template iOS UI design to get our status bar. We can just place it in here. And using this icon, we can also select the top just like that. So that's our icon to close the profile. That's easy for the user to understand. And we are also going to add a follow button. So I'm going to switch back into my icon set and I'm going to select the plus or maybe even the heart because uh, if we work with the X as a close button, we shouldn't really go for a like plus button because they look so similar and it's good to get some uh, get some diversity in there. Oh, come on. Grabbing something in sketch can be a little bit of pain. Uh, you can also just use a key combination of control and option. Hit bo hold both of them and drag it around. It's easier to use this combination. And then I'm going to slot it over to the right side, just like that. So we can like follow the person and close the profile. 
Now let's of course add some information into the UI. So this is going to be the name of the person and it should be displayed in white, just like that, centered. Alignment should be centered uh, because if you don't align it in a centered way, then we have a name that's aligned to the left, but having it aligned to the center of the like artboard of the screen will give us the ability to enter whatever we want and it's staying in the correct position. So we can of course use our plugin again and we select type, name, mail, and we can of course just click it again and again to get a matching name. Maybe we can just keep this one. Um, I'm going to copy this and paste it below because this is going to be the job description. I don't know if uh, if craft has any options like that. It don't, it doesn't. So we add something like, this is a web designer from New York city. So next up is to change the size a little bit, make it smaller and place it below. Now that's the basic information. I'm going to group them up so we have some better structure in our sketch file. Uh, I'm going to call this description and I would like to place some information down there which is like giving us some information about the likes, the followers and the followings. Okay, now let's add some rulers so we can place some information right in our profile. And as I said, I wanted to display three data. So we need to divide the 375 pixels by four. That means about 94 pixels. Um, so this is the first guide it's going in here oops 94 in here the next one is going to be about right here and the next one is going to be about right here just about like that and these are the guides that we will use to place some content uh, in this description right here so I'm simply copying the web designer option and I need to somehow center it up. I'm going to like say that this is the amount of followers or we can all simply tab in a number, which is this one, place it right here. Then we simply go and say that this is followers we can copy this number and place it in here. And this is the number of following. So we have to rename this right here, following. And we can simply give this a different number. You can of course place in any number you want. Um, What is happening? I can't really select something. Okay, so now it's working. We can copy these and place them in here. And this is the amount of likes that this person has. So maybe he has like uh, such a high number of likes. Okay. So this is basically the description part of the profile, the name, the role and the location, as well as the followers following and likes. I would like to add some more buttons at the bottom. And we are going to grab our template again that we had before, which is this one right here. So we have the template and I'm placing in our tab bar at the bottom and we can simply uh, add the content of this tab bar by double clicking it. We can also say we want to change the color of all these icons and so on. So just click, double click it 
and you can simply change whatever you want. So the first one is going to be posts and we of course need to grab an appropriate icon for posts and I would like to just use this one which is somehow a list or maybe we find a better one but this would already work kind of kind of fine. Um, yeah, for the purpose of this tutorial we can simply choose this one and grab it and place it in the correct position. Then we have to get rid of this one and we need to change the color uh, but I want to check out how it looks like. Okay, so we have our bar right here and we can also say we want to change the opacity of the whole uh, symbol but I would like to jump into the bar and we can say we want to have some more background blur like 30 pixels and we can change the opacity to maybe 50 pixels, uh, 50 percent. So we can go back and see that it already looks way better now and we can also change up the color of our icon description. We're going to do the same with the next icon. The next one will be photos. So we can already write this down right here and change the color to black. Going into the list we select a photo icon and the photo icon could be this one. Looks like some mountains on a f like small photo, just like that. And we can get rid of the text uh, of the of the other different one. So we like made chose a different way to do it um in the first icon, and maybe I should should have done it th that way. Uh, I deleted the symbol and just paste it in our icon which is fine and here in this one we simply uh, replaced the actual symbol within the symbol like the icon within the symbol um, but to have it the same way I'm going to just do it that way I think that's a bit better okay so uh, and the next one shouldn't be And the next one is item number three. That's item number two. And right now you see that we have some problems right here because of these symbols uh, because the first one is the active icon so uh, like we need to change up the symbols to we see what we need to do is to just detach these uh, from their symbols for now because this one was the active icon and on the profile page that I'm designing right now we don't have such a uh, like active icon and both of these were the non-active unactive icons and they just look the same right now because they weren't active but of course they should mean something different and in this case it's messages and I would like to add a message button and we simply check the mail one copy it paste it in right here and we can place it on this side right here. May change the layer order and also the opacity so we get the size and we can just expand it just like that. Get rid of the icon below and there we have our UI. So now we need to test it a little bit because we have this profile image and the whole image is kind of dark. Um, but what if user has a quite light 
uh, profile image and we need to test it, this out for our like text right here and also for the nav bar. So I'm going to replace this photo with different photos and after that we can say if it looks right or not on every kind of photo. So we are simply trying it out with different photos and you see for example on this one and I'm going to uh, I'm going to hide the guides. On this photo you see that our description right here isn't really visible so we need to select the background, add another fill which is black or which has like a gradient. This is actually much better I guess. Uh, we could simply, to just to show it to you, add a uh, background which has a like black color and we could increase or decrease the opacity of this additional fill. But we can also just select a cool gradient which is giving us the ability to get a nice gradient as I said and that gives us uh, the chance to make it visible as it should be. Okay, uh, we need to correct the type, which is now a female. And this is basically the user interface that we created today. And right now I'm going to, I see that we have some problems right, right here at the top as well, which is of course important. So we're gonna go back a little bit and do what I said before, just add a little dark, probably a 30% opacity fill on top of this and we are really fine with this UI. So I hope you enjoyed this first new video. After a few weeks I'm going to post more videos like this one right here very soon. Um, I'm just trying to get all of the office stuff done to have a nice professional environment as I said uh, to produce these videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks guys for your time, thanks for watching and we see us in the next one. Bye! This video was sponsored by Dev Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12-week design bootcamp intended to get you a full-time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at devmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!